What's happening everybody? So we're doing a deep clean on the Astro today. We got a big, big, busy, busy day. Uh, I'm actually making three videos today. I'm doing this vlog. I'm doing um, the Q&A and I'm doing a fridge giveaway. Look at this. Brand spanking new to Medic Refrigerator. I'm giving it away. So turn on your notifications because that video will be coming up very soon. I'm still like super psyched about my uh, CF50. So yeah, you'll hear more about that in the next video. Look at this. Look at how clean it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She's been working very hard with me this morning to do this. Look how good she makes beds, man. This is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever made a bed look this good. So yeah, we're gonna get to it. Woo! All right, guys, it's car wash time. Check it out. Woo! All right, now it's off to Safeway to get some food. Woo, and some Don Dish Soap. By the way, I was not sponsored by Don Dish Soap for that video the other day. I just, for whatever reason, people around here always say Don Dish Soap when they say dish soap. Um, I guess it does cut grease better, I don't know. Uh, if, they, if you're from Don Dish Soap and you wanna send me money, please do. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Nice and clean. Look at this, I got customer and training carts, little baby carts. Crazy. Let's get some vegan sausages. You're a vegan sausage. You're a vegan sausage. Italian sausage. You will you eat these? Huh? Will you eat these? We'll cook them in noodles. We'll make a big batch of noodles. We got some sandwiches now. Check this out. Look at this greasy monstrosity. It's crazy. I don't want to backlit like crazy. We're gonna eat this stuff up. Grocery time! Whoa, super overexposed. What happened there? That was weird. All right, guys, so we stopped by my parents' place and got my new van. Evie is back there. I don't know if you can see her. She's back there behind us. Uh, we were heading to the park. I had this dream last night of this really cool drone shot with the two vans, and uh, I want to get it while I still can. And we got to do that fridge video, so I'm going down to the park to do that. It is. Uh, there's some really nice parking down there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what uh, see what we can do with that cool drone video. And I haven't actually used the drone in a vlog yet, so that would be cool too. Here's another express in front of us. Figured I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes action. So we're setting up shop now. She's gonna use her new uh, Sony Alpha 6500 because it's incredible in low light to uh, be my sexy camera lady. And we're gonna fix this uh, 70D outside the van and uh, get this done. We'll see if it only takes one take this time. Usually it takes me two or three, but we'll see. Rolling? Yep. What's happening, everybody? Wait, which camera do I look at? That one. So I'm reviewing the footage over here on the Sony and making sure it all looks good and worked out. There's a little sneak preview, by the way. You know? So yeah, Evie's over here doing some, uh, some shots of the fridge for Instagram. A little promo for it. I think this is gonna be awesome. It was a uh, second take. Woo! Oh man, so mission accomplished. That feels good. So we're going to a uh, more drone friendly parking spot to uh, try to get that shot I dreamed about last night because it was so cool, man. It was such a cool dream. I'm gonna try it out. So Evie's over here getting the drone shot set up, or the drone set up, rather. We got the vans over here. I got my Instagram shots already. Check this out. Look at this. The Astro could fit inside of that van. Isn't it crazy? Look at that.
right, so back at the van now. Um, we're gonna rattle trap the inside of all these doors and finish up the speaker install. And uh, then we might do the uh, the front area rattle trap too. Yeah, this thing cleaned up real nice. Before, after. So we got it all up in the back side, back behind here, and all in here, and all up in every little area. Much better. All right, so you ready to stick it in the back door? Hell yeah. Gloved up and ready to go. Let's do it. Woo! All right, back door is done. We got that one done. Listen to this. It just like, you can hear it close, but it's like a thunk. There's no, uh, there's no rattling or anything. We took, there was a, a rail thing around here and I took that off. So yeah, we're gonna get started on the front doors now. Yeah, so we got these front doors as good as we could. We got the front area real good. We got down here because these things made a lot of noise when you hit them. And then we also got, uh, we had some left, so we did some in the back too. And it seemed to help. Uh, like I said, we're going to insulate the hell out of the floor, so I don't know how much of a plus this would be. But you can see all the rattle trap we did. This is, uh, this is 100 square feet, so for a normal size van, I think 75 would be enough if you're covering it this much. Like I said, some people cover it 100%. Everything I've read and from the manufacturer says anything after 25% is a waste of money and a waste of weight and stuff is really heavy. So that's a lot of work, man. I don't know if I'd want to do all that, but we're going to go on a drive tonight. And I know for a fact that it's going to, it's going to be night and day, um, just hitting the walls. And when I drove it earlier with just the back walls and the back wheel wells, it made a huge difference. And I know when I did it in my Astro, it made a massive difference too. Um, and this is way more covered than my Astro. My Astro is just the, the driver's floor and the, back wheel wells and that's it so yeah this is gonna be sweet Woo! all right guys so i'm driving to walmart now evie is working on editing or something i don't know what she's doing uh doing something on the computer but uh this thing's leaking oil when it's parked at an incline like on that driveway so um, it's the seal where the drive shaft goes into the transmission so there is a uh rental place up here where you can rent garage space for it's like 20 dollars an hour they have a big hydraulic lift and they have like a it's like a 500 piece tool set or something like that. I don't know, something like that. So we're going to we're going to rent that space and fix that seal, change out the transmission filter. Uh, we took it to the shop to have all the fluids flushed and changed and I told them to change the transmission filter and change the fluid and not to flush it and they flushed it and now we have a leak. So thanks guys. Uh, anyway, so we're going to change out that seal, change out the tranny filter, um, spark plugs and spark plug wires. That has to be done with the wheel, with the front wheels off, and this thing will not fit in the garage. We can't do it on the street where my parents live, so we kind of have to rent that space. But it's way cheaper than paying someone to do it. So we're gonna do that in a future episode. Um, man, I just can't believe how quiet this thing is. This rattle trap really works amazingly, so I highly, highly, highly recommend this stuff. And even, you know, we didn't even cover that much. I mean, we did more than the 20% or 25% for sure on most of it, except for the floor, but. You can't even hardly hear the engine anymore. It's wild, man. So yeah, heading to uh, heading to Walmart now. I gotta get some transmission fluid. That squeak that you keep hearing is actually the uh, passenger seat. That's it's got a squeak for some reason. We're gonna take them out, and clean them up real good. But anyway, yeah, gonna get some transmission fluid and check the tranny fluid and all that. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching, guys. Love yourself. <laughs>